Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy Iron Smasher1024 here. Welcome back to Zoom uh, Mario Galaxy 2. Um, today we have a fellow veteran of some galaxy as well, first guest of the series, Tan Man. How are you doing, Tan? Good, how are you? Um, I'm hanging, doing some good progress in this game, so uh, let's get into it. Good, I appreciate you having me on. Where, where are you at in this game currently? Alright, we're in World 3. So far, uh, we got most of the comments and everything else, as well as the stars. So, uh, I guess today, we'll, uh, we'll go to Bowser Jr. today. Oh, how funny. <laughs> Alright. Bowser Jr.'s Fearsome Fleet. Oh my gosh. Very good stage. <laughs> Bowser yeah, Jr.'s Mighty like Mega Hammer. So, Tan, you and, I, you, you, you and I have played Galaxy, obviously, and all that part. What, what do you... Oh, yeah. Bah. Obviously, uh, we got a few more months before um, Super Mario Bros. Wonder on the Switch, coming out in October. What are your yeah, thoughts on that, uh, Tan? Oh. I got tased by, uh, this zapper right here. There we go. I'm very curious though how they're gonna add more characters and how the story's gonna be, because obviously uh it's already spoiled that's gonna be Bowser already, so it's gonna be it's kinda of funny. Um Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm excited for Wonder. The game looks you know, really nice graphic wise and, and stuff, so yeah. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's good. It's time to get a new Mario game. They even, this time we're gonna have Daisy, it's gonna make it interesting. Daisy's yeah, gonna be in the cool. mix. Hopefully have other characters as well. Oh shit! I discon- my controller disconnected, no! Meanwhile... The interesting part though, is that there's like four games that is coming out in October. Nerd part, and obviously, um, you, think, you probably remember this, but of course my birthday is, uh, is on the 24th of that month, so I'm definitely thinking about, uh, pretty much like streaming that game of, uh, Super Mario Wonder and a few other games. Yeah, I'm excited for Wonder, that's... Mario games coming out pretty soon. And there's also another one which is a uh, Mar which is like Sonic Superstars. This is, this is um gonna have oh, co-op. Yeah, really cool. Oh yeah. Classic Sonic coming back, but of course in a different format again, so that's gonna be fun. And I had no idea why I died there. You know what kind of sucks though? I kind of wish we still have Galaxy 3 and everything else. Even though we have like Odyssey, I feel like, it could, like there could be like two worlds. Like maybe a common story. That would be cool. Although it kind of begs the question, will this game like ever get ported to the Switch somehow? Like even through emulation or something soon? I don't want, I don't want it. Obviously, like, this game is like, obviously the weird part is that like, everybody still goes nuts and the fact that, um, this is not part of 3D All-Stars, and even though 3D All-Stars is emulated, it's like, it's a very odd, like, case and everything else. Okay, how the fuck am I killing myself by accident? <laughs> Terrence looking at me like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Like, how does he die a lot? Yeah, I'm like, damn, I am. <laughs> this is not that hard of a stage. <laughs> I mean, the Yoshi, I like the way Yoshi plays in this game, honestly. 
pretty good mechanics. Alright, this time... There we go. I'm safe! There we go. Definitely gonna be a lot of editing on that one, that's for sure. <laughs> Stage, though, probably one of my favorite boss stages in the game. It's not bad, honestly. I give it a, a nice 10 out of 10, honestly. That would be cool if you did like a ranking. Oh, snap. And then we have, I forgot about this. The nice stage interaction right here. Arg. Get the comet medal. There we go. You like Galaxy Two or One better? Honestly, I think I like. What in the actual fuck? Yoshi? 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 No! 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 <laughs> I don't even know how I shot myself. That's what I like. I don't even know how. I like Galaxy. I think I like Galaxy Two more for some odd reason. It feels like it has more life into it. I don't know why. And this is supposed to be originally DLC on the Wii originally. Oh really? I don't know if that was. I don't know if that was a theory. Or... Yeah, it's basically Galaxy it was originally gonna be like. It was originally like Super Mario Galaxy more, I think, but I don't know. It's like it's like it feels like there's more in this game, obviously, like in terms of like the game having life in some way, whereas in the original Galaxy, I feel like this is more cluttered in a way, but at the same time, like its own thing. First Galaxy seems a lot more open, like with the stages, but yeah, I, I like both games. I was originally like, Galaxy 1's the best, but now I, I still think it is, but I can see why people like the sequel more, and not a bit more open to that idea. Yeah. I want Galaxy 3 though. I mean, I think that's what everyone wants. <laughs> yeah. And there's there's the man of the hour, Bowser Jr. Yeah, he's got the ground star from looks of it. Let's see what this man yeah. has. It's a really fun boss like the, the Mega Hammer. Yeah. Nice soundtrack, too. This is usually like an easy boss fight, honestly. You just gotta make sure you don't get hit by the beams yeah. and everything else. I love the design of the robot, like the, the green and the stuff. Uh, I always, this is always one of my favorite parts of the Get Out. Cause you actually fight Bowser Jr. Cause the other boss fights is like a minion of his, so it's nice that you actually get to fight him. You know? Oh, a secret hit, let's go! Bah. There you go. Come on, Bowser Jr. You're supposed to be a good, the ultimate villain, man. And there we go. Oh crap. There you go. Access Yoshi. Think I shoot the head. Let's go. Dang, you're you're pulling the trick this year. Oh wait, now I bring back the one of us now it's get so much as Yeah. Come here, buddy. I'm winning for you. There you go. Nice. Oh, nice. Wow, you did a good job with that. 
Yeah, I did a good job on this, but then I died a lot in the process, so in theory, it's not that bad. Good recovery for me, yeah, honestly. Made, I just flew through that boss fight, and but the stage I was when you like mess up. <laughs> yeah. I got the nice music right here. <laughs> Wahoo! <laughs> oh, I like how yeah, like how Yoshi saw for assassin. Oh yeah, he's the he's the add-on right here. Of course, another reason I decided to do it on here, on the... is because pretty much the game looks deserves to be looked better on, like... It looks pretty right now, honestly. And obviously, I, I just finished doing the... The 3D All-Star version of Galaxy 1, so I figured, you know... It makes sense oh, to do it. Okay. Yeah. I like 3D All-Stars. I know some people don't, but I don't know. It's fun. I like Sunshine and Galaxy a lot, obviously, you know. I was... Cool too, so. Exactly. I don't like, oh, like, oh, it's not HD. I'm like, yeah, I guess. Yeah. It's just, like, there's few takeaways from me, because, like, it's like... from The only takeaway for me is that it was an emulated version of the game. And it kind of defeats, like, per, like it could have just made a better version. Like, there's people who made a PC port of 64 and did some other... and optimized some great stuff into it. So, I mean... Nintendo is just very slowpoke and doesn't like think the bigger picture sometimes, in my opinion. But we all like it. I mean, Nintendo is a good company in a way, so it's like they do good stuff. But anyways, we got a nice Luma right here. Unfortunately, we don't have enough, so we're gonna have to take her along for the ride for a while. What's your favorite ward in this game? I like the the four, I like the fifth one. The third one's neat. Ward, ward four is pretty cool. I like this first stage we're about to do. The giant mega one. That's a fun one. This one's a good Super one. Mad. Oh yeah, yeah, that's always a good one. And I also like Champions Road and uh, Throwback Galaxy. Call back to yeah, uh, Mario sixty four. Yeah, I think that's yeah. World nine. But yeah, this is a fun. Fun galaxy. Oh, I always like the big, small areas in 3D Mario because you have that in Mario 64 and stuff, so it's kind of a staple. Oh, yeah. And of course, uh, our nice, big, small people. Very nice. Look at this guy. He's, he's chunky. Huh. So Tana, obviously this episode is going to come out in September, but of course, uh, since we're still in August, obviously, so uh, you think we're going to get ourselves a, a direct soon for September? I don't know. I honestly haven't... I don't know. Like, I still care about Nintendo, but I'm not in it as much as I used to be, honestly. Like, I still love Mario, obviously. I love the Mario movie, but I don't know. I'm not as into Nintendo as much. And I think that's just because I've gotten older, it's, they've changed a lot of their policies. So I'm not really into them, um, possibly, but I don't think we'll have anything super big. I think, you know, Breath of the Tears of the Kingdom just came out, so I don't think we're going to get anything big. Gotcha. I mean, I, I can agree with you. Like, <laughs> honestly, my vision for Nintendo has changed so much, especially not just Joe Drama, yeah. but, like, everything else in general. And then there's... That whole Switch 2 discussion, which I'm like, really? You guys could have made a better upgraded Switch. You guys could just make a whole new gen console? Like, eh. At least from my perspective. Of course, it's like different from everybody else and all that, but, eh. And of course, there's, there's Nintendo wanting to upgrade their little base over there in Japan. There's a lot of stuff over here in this, in this world. Like, there's so much detail in these galaxies and everything else. Like, it's, like its own personalities, in a way. I 
I think for me, one of the reasons, I think Galaxy 2 is like a lot more like a charming game, I would agree with that. Yeah, it's not bad. I think the Galaxy for me is a lot more like epic and grand scale, while this one is more, you know, kind of more like quaint, I guess. I don't know what the word is. I think part of the reason too is like I'm not as big as on Nintendo but like we don't like I don't know like we don't really stuff do as much like when I was in high school it's like we did a lot of Nintendo stuff now not as much which is fine that's just how time goes so yeah I can agree with you there all right well I make this jump <gasps> no wiggler okay oh crap All right, best recovery right there. Phew. Man, she was here to to spin out for like a long while now, and I have yet to huh? get a chance to uh, finish Breath of the Wild. <laughs> It's a mystery. Do you have Tears of the Kingdom? Uh, no, I ha I, I wanted to get Tears of the Kingdom after being from the wild, so I haven't got a chance of doing that yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have it. I don't know. I didn't really love the first game. <sighs> Zelda is a very nice, but at the same time, rough, like, uh, game to do because like there are certain types of like things you have to do that no one would know unless you have like a guide or something ever since the N64 or yeah, way I back to the lost. NES. Yeah, I'm like, I don't, I, I do have a time now that I'm like done with college, but like, I don't, I don't know, I don't really have the patience to like be playing it. I don't know. Those like open world games where I have no idea what I'm doing just really get sometimes too much for me, you know? Yeah. Like it feels like homework, you know. More homework that you want, you don't want to do in life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I, I get why people like Zelda. They look beautiful and stuff. And, oh, this is a great stage. We got the bee mushroom back. You gotta be careful. Amazing coins. <laughs> yep. The comment section are gonna love me. Yes, for sure. But yeah, I love the bee mushroom. I'm glad they brought it back. That was that was cool to see. Cause I'm like, I don't think they were going to, but I'm like, oh, they did. And yeah. Yeah. Interesting though, like in Super Mario Wonder, we're gonna have an elephant. What is the elephant gonna have? Yeah, I like that. I like that. Idea. What do you want us gonna have? Yeah. And then there's gonna be some new stuff that obviously you haven't seen before, hopefully, from the news. For that, it's like new that hasn't been seen in new series. So it's gonna be interesting, honestly. The one thing though is that it doesn't mention anything about like multiplayer online. So I kind of like, I bought this adapter that it, like, you can use a Parsec if you were to like, um, for people to, like to pretty much stream like, um, it's basically like PS4 remote play in a way, but like with uh, Parsec and everything else, which is pretty cool. Oh crap. Yeah. Obviously Nintendo's not- like Nintendo doesn't always push for certain games to have online, which does suck. I feel like they could really benefit from it, especially since 3D World had it for, for some reason. Oh no! Oh, that okay. That was clutch. That was extremely clutch there. On me. Yeah, but now I have to go oh, back because. Level. Yeah, but now but I don't have the P now, so it's like. Oh, yeah. No. Have you ever done a let's play of this game, though, Tan? Um. I mean, I, I didn't. So, 
Yes and no. So back in the day, when I really, like, in 2013, when I was first starting out on YouTube, like, I mean, just starting out here, I recorded a ton of, um, I recorded a ton of, like, let's plays with my, like, camcorder that I just never uploaded, so. Gotcha. I've technically recorded this game, but I've never uploaded it, so I would say no. So I, I have to do it, like, on my own time, 100%. But we get the Tanner cut eventually? No. I'm gonna install that memory instead. Yeah. The Tanner cut. Hey, we got the Snyder cut, we got the Tanner cut. It's just a, it's a possibility. Nah, over <laughs> ten. Let's see here. If we get Galaxy 2, they could maybe perhaps put Cappy in it somehow, but make make it like a like a side of, like Galaxy a side character. 3? Yeah, like. He... Galaxy 2. Damn, my apologies, good sir. <laughs> if we do get Galaxy 3, they could put Cappy, <laughs> but make it his own his own like side side character in a way? Yeah, I mean, I like Cappy to, for a good amount, you know, he's cool, I guess, but that would be me. Hmm, did I miss a Silver Star back here, I wonder? I think I did. I don't know why, though, but, like, they, they did, like, um, some of these abilities. Like, they always have to require, like, um, one of those timers and everything else. Like, obviously the Fire Flower and a few other abilities won't be, like, infinite. Yeah, that's always one of the things anymore. They always have to find the abilities. Iron, did you see the Mario movie? I did. It was very good. I will say that while I was worried for its original, like, timing, of how long the movie it was, it was definitely well paced out surprisingly. Cause usually when it's like an hour movies or like an hour and a half, it usually like gets concerning. Cause they have to worry about the pacing of the story. But it's it's definitely a good masterpiece though. Well at least a masterpiece that's better than the original. I, I really like it. I think, you know, like, as a Mario fan, it's a dream come true to see it. Oh, yeah. And then we have so much um, cool stuff from, like, the past and everything else, especially the Galaxy music and everything else, the remix, yeah. Bowser's Fury. A lot of good stuff in that movie. Yeah, I mean, it's already just the beginning. Yeah. Love the voice acting, the graphic, the way the movie looks. Very simple movie, like, yeah, it, it still feels so real that we're talking about the Mario movie, you know? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> right now it's on Peacock. But in a good way, but you know, like, it's obviously really good. And I, I like the voice, like, I was... I was always kind of more optimistic about Chris Pratt as Mario, but I really liked his interpretation. I thought he did a really good job with that. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of people really made fun of Chris Pratt. <laughs> yeah, when he first got announced, I mean, yeah, it, it, it was an odd choice, but he did really good. Yeah, he was hiding the a lot of that good voicing, so definitely people got like their whole. We were wrong, it's a good voice! Do more Mario! At the same time- Luigi was great, you can't go on with Jack Black as Bowser, so yeah. Yeah. Damn. There, there you are, buddy. I was looking for this star. Obviously, after I finish uh, defeating Bowser, you already know where I'm gonna do next, obviously, right? 
Well, I mean, you still have a while to go to the Bowser stage here. Yeah, but obviously we have more than that. We have, like, um... Obviously, yeah, uh... Yeah, yeah. Still a lot more game. <laughs> Who's your favorite voice actor from the Mario movie? I would just say Jack Black, honestly. Especially his, his song and everything else. The Peaches. And of course, the way he presents the Bowser and everything else. Like, it, it, he pretty much made Bowser, like, very good character. Like, like not just in just growth, but also, like, personality. Yeah, when I first saw the movie, I was like, maybe he's a bit overrated. But I, know, I liked him a lot in second viewing. He's able to kind of do the goofy side of Bowser, but still be menacing. Because I, on my Jack Black, just didn't sound menacing enough, but I, I like this take. Um, I liked um Keegan Michael Key's Toad. He was pretty cool. Very good. I'm feeling good that Charles Martinet at least got his cameo because honestly, I yeah. think he's important. That was nice. A lot of people comparing uh, Mario's dad to the reference of that guy from Ocarina of Time uh, that looks like Mario. Yeah, I. That pattern's cool. Have you done the Flip Fail Galaxy yet? Uh, we're oh, we're about. Okay. Yeah. And then we also have like the Sunshine inspired stage here, the, the beach one. Yeah. It's gonna be an interesting. Uh, Interesting event right here. I will admit, I originally I was getting back into the series of Galaxy. Um, it felt very like I felt it was very rusty, obviously, because I played this the game in a while. But at the same time, it was like it, it was a very interesting walk in the park because um I didn't have to look up a guide this time. I remember where mostly everything was surprisingly, and um it wasn't my first time. This, this isn't my first time hundred percent in the game, thankfully. So. It was very, it's very good to at least come back to get to like a game like this, not just because like how it like. This is a good game, honestly. Like, there's nothing I would replace this game with, that if it was another Mario title. That's how how much I like this game. So you're like a, you're like a pretty big. Player. Yes. Oh crap. I mean, I can see that. Like I said, so that. I like this one. I like the first Galaxy more, but yeah, this game is still really good. I like this stage, like the town aspect that they go for. I always found really cool. Yeah. Let's see, I think I have to go over here. No, you don't. Funny enough, you could cheese this easily, I think, if I'm mistaken. Hmm. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 one of those days where like, hey, you remember? It, I think it's this how you do it. Nope, you completely forgot. This is how you do it. You're in the wrong way. It's fun to play a game you haven't played in a while. It's, it's yeah, it is. I wish they had the freaking uh, Wii Virtual Console. Yeah, Nintendo, Switch. being broke person, pretty much. I hate it. I honestly don't like the fact that they got rid of the Virtual Console. And I hate it more that, and I hate it more that they don't have like what PSN and Xbox have, where you can just like purchase stuff and it goes to the next console. Yeah, I feel like Nintendo um, has focused um, a lot on the like other aspect of the company, like the movie aspect, which I'm excited for. Like, give me a Zelda movie, give me a Star Fox movie, all that stuff. Um, you know, they have a theme park here, but I feel like their video game division is kind of focused on less, you know, like, not as much love there, so, it's like, oh, uh, kind of, yeah, kind of disappointing. I know you have a lot of issues with them that you've complained about before, about, like, the emulation stuff, and, yeah. This is, like, I don't like... Homework being rushed, that could be perfect. Obviously, people rush their homework, and that's normal, but like, when it comes to a project, a project is supposed to be like an art canvas in a way. And you can present the way you can be creative. Obviously, like, emulation is one way of doing it, but it's like, 
You, sh you should be allowed to do more. If that makes sense. Okay. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay. This is how you... I think... Okay, I'm missing something here. Otherwise, why is this here? But yeah, uh, Nintendo, I you know, always support them, but I've been less as a fan of them, as you know, as I've gotten older, you know. If that makes sense. Of course. We all turn into old people and everything else, and we have we think maturely. Right now, Nintendo is probably thinking about GTA with spider mans with a Spider-Man skin <laughs> inside of it. Uh, I don't know about that. But yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't want to see Spider-Man Los Santos? That's that's nothing bad. <laughs> um, it's not like I'm not like saying the audience. I'm not saying Nintendo pitish or anything. I'm just saying as I've gotten older, I've realized more of the faults with the company. We all have. We all have different perspectives. Younger, well, I think part of it too is like, you know, when I was doing YouTube as a kid, that was the big thing. Nintendo now that I don't do like I still do Nintendo YouTube stuff I still do like film and stuff and then you pretty much changed how you did content as well yeah I mean I I still do my Mario content but I do like also Marvel stuff too so it's good to at least have variety, though, which is good because it's yeah, good, it honestly. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So it's weird because it's like you know, as a kid, I always dreamed of a Mario movie and a Mario theme park, and now we finally have it. But since we have that, it seems like the other parts of the company have kind of dipped. So it's like I guess kind of a trade-off, you know. The funny part is that oh, whenever. I... Oh, you go ahead. Sorry. Like I've told people this, and I'm interested to see what you think of this iron. If Mario games were on like a PS5, I would just play them on the PS5 and not get a Switch. Like the only reason I have Nintendo stuff is because of the game exclusiveness. Mhm. Mm Which is Are why. You the same way? Exa yes, because like the one thing that is like exclusivity is like one thing Nintendo like tries to keep and everything else, and plus the PlayStation 2. So honestly, like, if Mario would be on a PS5, then theoretically I would buy it because usually N Nintendo makes games that are usually roughed up or barely look good these days. Yeah, like, I'm not a big graphic guy, if you all know me, I'm not, but the Switch kind of disappointed me in that area. Like, it looked, the P my PS4, which is a good console, um, looks better than the my switch and i'm like that's kind of an issue i'm not a big graphic guy but i'm like when my <laughs> you know when the ps4 looks better than the switch and the ps4 is like three years older then that's kind of an issue you know yeah of course there's also and that it, other issue where certain games on ps5 is starting to get 30 fps which is odd yeah, uh, I do want to say I do like this boss fight here. I always found this one pretty cool. It's like Queen, Bug Lady. Looks like Iron's taken care of her pretty well. Oh, yeah. Always, always thought the design was cool. Ugh, you're throwing up. Disgusting. Oh, crap. Ew. But yeah, it's just, it's just weird with me down, you know. I still like them, obviously. Um, they're, they're definitely having more issues. We can only hope that they fix their issues. That's the only thing we can do. At least for now, at least. Or as consumers, we can at least use our voices. It's bad enough we have to pay. Our guy had to pay like. Uh, I think a thousand yen just to ask a dev if they're going to do F0 on the switch That's how that sad it is cool. I would love F0 
I still, I still, I still hope that GX rumor is still real, but I know that it probably what won't. F Zero GX gets ported to Switch, but gets online support and a few other upgrades. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Ah, another male. Let's see, who do you think it's gonna be from, Tan? Because I have no idea. Uh, well, it's just addressed to the baby Luma, so... Yes. I don't know. It's a mysterious person. We have... I don't... I, I, we probably know who it is, but uh, you never know. Yeah, I think this is Daisy. Yeah. I always knew she was sucked. Yeah. You never know. Daisy could be appearing in Galaxy any day now. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, when you think of a Mario Princess with Lumas, you think of Daisy. Yeah. What? Well, well, anyways, we're gonna call off episode here, but uh, be sure to check out Tanner's um, channel. He has some nice content over there and some swag, so be sure to check him out. Uh, we're gonna call it episode here, and until then, I'm Iron Smasher 1024, and we'll see you guys later. Peace.